the company in the form of cash, giving it in the form of dividends, that can be a bit more complex to value as well. Auditor needs to uh, recompute the stock dividend and trace the entries to the general ledger related to valuation. Now we're going to consider completeness. Disclosure items include, so the disclosure items we need to include, include number of shares authorized, issued, and outstanding. So the number of shares authorized, issued, and outstanding. Call privileges, prices, and dates of preferred stock preferred stock sinking fund and of course these would only be applicable if we had preferred stock stock options or purchase plans so if there's already any stock options or purchase plans we want to disclose those items restrictions on retained earnings and dividends so if there's any kind of restrictions on the retained earnings and dividends those need to be disclosed uh, all completed or pending transactions that may affect stockholders equity so any tr other types of transaction that may have a direct effect on the stockholders equity should be disclose.